Howdy all, Mortal Lex Lives. I think it's time we play a little Minecraft. What are you guys doing over here? I don't know what they're doing. They're making much noise. That's what they do. Uh, so, I, uh, I think we're going to work on the apartments today. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually make it to the apartments, but we're going to work on the sitting area. Um, I kind of have an idea in my head what we're going to do. We're going to start on the inside. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the outside of this thing, but... Um, I have uh, traveled to the far reaches of the nether and got very little quartz. <laughs> um, but... Uh, ooh, do I have my axe on me? Oh, I also died in lava and lost my helmet and one of my picks. Uh, which I don't appreciate. It, uh... <laughs> it was like... I'm here, and there's some quartz up there, and so I go up the side of this nether rat cliff, and I knock out two pieces of quartz. Lava flows down, and it it's fast, right, in the nether, and so when I try to run away, it gets me from behind, spilling out over the thing, and then there's just lava everywhere. And it's like moving in molasses, man, I tell ya. Uh, but I kind of have an idea what I want to do for this. But first, I've got to see what this looks like. I just want to make sure that we can get away with these instead of these. Yeah, yeah, that looks exactly the same. Perfect. All right, and now I'm down here, and everything I want to do is up there. It's the way it works. It's the way it always works. Uh, so it's uh, it's pretty late. It's it's gonna be past my bedtime when we finish this. Um, I uh. I decided I should probably get in some time tonight uh, because tomorrow I'm going to be busy. Um, we're... One, two, three... Why, why am I counting? Uh, this is all I need to know. One, two. And then this wall here. Two, three... Wait. Wall... Space, wall, oh, you know, I might should do, I might should do two, um, let's do two for this, so, you would go there, nope, nope, you sure wouldn't, you would go down there, but I can't do that at the moment, because I don't have enough of this, um, but, uh, yeah, their uh, niece is coming over to babysit again, so we are going to do another round of Gotham, I think, when she's uh, put the kids to bed. Ah, uh, uh, don't babysit. Okay. One, two. No, wait, one. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You know what? I totally thought this out wrong. Nope. This is all got to come out of here. I need this to go back a whole row here. Uh Yeah, I uh We just finished uh, season 1 of Gotham this week, so uh, we being everybody who watches Gotham when it airs. <laughs> uh, and so she's about, they don't have cable. Um, they watch a lot of Netflix and stuff. So, uh, she, uh, she doesn't get it. 
and uh, she's a big fan of Batman. So I am watching that with her. Otherwise, she wouldn't get to watch it. So, uh, all right. So this is what I want, and then on this side here. I want the same thing. And we're going to run a path down through here. Whoops. Jump that. All right. Yes, that's that's what I wanted. I wanted to dip in the floor. Uh, well, you see, we had a little uh, flood here, and uh, the uh, support beams washed out, and so now there's a big dip in the floor. That happened. Uh... <laughs> In my, uh, when I was building my replica of my old house, uh, over at my farm, uh, I talked about that. They, uh, nobody ever said anything either. I don't understand. It wasn't that hard to fix. Like, I don't get it. Why? Everybody knew but me. I don't know where I was that it happened. I don't really pay attention to that stuff, so, um... So, you know, we we go to redo the living room floor, and there is a huge, huge dip in the floor. And I mean, like, like, uh, let's go over here. We're, no, I can't even do it here. This. Like, this is where the floor is supposed to be. Puh. And uh, I'm like, what is going on with this floor? Did you guys break the floor? And they're like, oh no, that was a, that was a, you remember when the basement got some water in it? I'm like, yeah. Well, uh, it uh, it washed out the sand supporting the support beam under the floor, and uh, the post sank down, and so now there's a huge dip in the floor. Really? And it's been like that for how long? I don't know, a few weeks? A year? <laughs> Two years? Uh, which sounds like I probably should have noticed, but I never used that part of the house. And, um, and it wasn't until I was redoing the floor that uh, we even noticed. Well, n they noticed, they just didn't care. Okay, now, this needs to be... Oh, no, why am I doing that? Um, okay, here's the thing. Do I want wool blocks or do I want carpet? Because carpet's going to stick up higher. I better just go get both and we'll see what this is going to look like. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. All we did was, uh, all I did, there's no we, uh, to fix it was they sell these, um, things called floor jacks. And, um, you, you bolt them in place into, uh, one end or the other, um, I don't remember if you bolt the top in place first or the bottom in place first, or if it doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, and then once you bolt one end in place, you take a big pipe wrench and you just twist it, and it's got this big screw in it, basically, uh, that you know unscrews. Only um, you want it to unscrew because that makes it longer, and so it's like a I don't know, five feet tall when you start, and then you just keep unscrewing it, and it can unscrew out to, like, nine feet tall. Um, or something like that. I don't think it actually went out to nine feet tall, but um, we didn't need to be nine feet tall. We needed to be, like, six feet tall. Uh, and, uh, you know, and you just screw it in place. And so I uh, got somebody upstairs with a level on the floor, and uh, I unscrewed it until the floor was level. That was it. I uh, actually bought two of them because I didn't want to put all that weight on the area where the post had washed free. And so I spread it out a little bit. And, uh, 
Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that difficult. Pour a little pour a little cement down in the hole where the post's supposed to be and uh fill that in, let that all harden up, put some you know, some bolts in there, tie everything down and Yeah, it was really funny too because uh I know I told this story already. I don't know why I'm going back over it again, but uh it was right here, right here. Uh, well, the whole, the whole floor. I guess there were two of them. All right. So, so this whole floor here was dipped. Only you couldn't tell when you were in the room. And then they broke. Actually broke right here in front of this couch. They actually broke the floor and didn't do anything about it. And so when we pulled all the old carpet up to replace it, um, the, uh, oh yeah, I'm going out here to get some wool. You could see where it's broken, and I'm like, there's like an 8-inch dip here in one spot. Oh yeah, we broke the floor. How long has it been like that? Oh, I don't know. A few years? What is wrong with you people? You know we can fix this stuff, right? We don't have to live in the broken house. No, I think they'd rather live in the broken house. Oh man. You know what I don't have here is more iron. I guess I should have thought that through. That's okay. These nine pieces are enough for me to look to see what I want. Right? I don't have any iron here. I might have some iron here. I... I don't. Hey, moo cows. Yeah, the house we're now is, uh... nicer. Uh, it's bigger, that's for sure. Uh, still requires a lot of work that nobody seems to want to do. I don't want to do it. And, uh... You know, I don't feel I should have to. Um, it's like it's like at the dinner table today. Uh, we eat dinner together a lot and uh, so we're at the dinner table and uh, they had gone grocery shopping um, and so when they got back with the groceries they brought food home and so we ate dinner when they brought the groceries home. So we're all sitting there, and uh, I'm about to have a little vacation time here. Uh, and so they, uh, they're they like, hmm, I know something you can add on your list of things you need to do while you're on vacation. I'm like, you know what my plans are? Is to finish this burger, and then go back downstairs, uh, and play some video games, probably. Well, somebody needs to go and get a new door because our patio door is trashed. Um, it's got a couple of things wrong with it that need to be fixed, majorly wrong with it at this point, since nobody would fix it when it was minorly. Uh, I'm not climbing the ladder to the second story of the house, above the second story of the house, to clean the gutters. I don't do heights. I pretty much never have. Um, and it just, it creeps me out too much. And, uh, like I can do a roller coaster. I love roller coasters. But climbing a ladder just makes me feel like I'm going to fall off. Uh, I don't know if I quite get vertigo, but, uh, I do feel like at any moment I could slip off and fall and die. And, uh, so I don't do heights. Um, I'm a little better at it now than I used to be. Um, although some of that's because I bought my own step ladder, uh, and I bought a really high quality step ladder instead of the chintzy ones that we grew up with. Okay, so now, do I want it like this, or, uh, <laughs> in fact, we, uh, I don't know if we still have that ladder, but, um, that's not how you make carpet. 
or do I want it like this? Because see, if I go like this, then I'm going to have to have this. Well, no, I don't have to have that, do I? But I don't know if I like it. You can't really tell, can you? And I'll get more out of my carpet if I use carpet instead of wool blocks. I meant I'll get more out of the wool blocks. So instead of every two, I can get three. Um, iron. I need some iron. You got some iron. You got some iron that's not smelted. I'm sure I've got... Yep, right there. Some, oh, right here, some iron, too. Um, so one day, they were going along, and um, a ladder had fallen out of somebody's vehicle. And uh, so... They brought home this ladder, and they were all really proud of this ladder they brought home. Look at, we found it. It was laying on the road. Um, so we took it. It was the shakiest little tiny... My family are large people. Uh, well, not all of us, I guess, but... Um, like... Like, I'm over six foot. My brother is around six foot. Uh, my father was over six foot. You know, uh, we are big people. And uh, they brought home this little chintzy, shaky, covered in paint. Uh, felt like the steps were going to break when you climbed on it ladder. And, uh, and then would expect you to climb all the way to the top and stand on the top step to do whatever it is they were trying to do. Uh, yeah, I just could not... Could, well, I, I've done it. Um, I mean... <laughs> uh, I... I, uh, I don't know. It's... When we got Dish Television the first time... Uh, yeah, I think that's going to look nice. And I'm going to do this blue all the way down through here, and then this over here is going to be like a little sitting area, and so I thought maybe we would use... Um, I don't know if I want dark oak planks, or if I want spruce planks. Uh, spruce. I'm thinking I go with spruce, and then I can use the dark oak on the wall. Um... But yeah, so when I start buying my own tools, uh, then, I don't know, I kind of like the way this dark oak looks, too. Now, do I want that, or do I want that? Nope, I like the dark oak, yeah. Gotta go with the dark oak floor on this side, I think. And, uh, I, uh, you know, so, <laughs> I, I don't know that... Always trying to get a deal. Always trying to get a deal. And so they, uh, you go to buy a power drill, right? Uh, do you buy a good power drill or do you buy the one that you can get on sale and then lower the price even more with the coupon and some wheeling and dealing? Uh, well, obviously you go with the chintzy drill that you can get even cheaper with wheeling and dealing. Um, that then when you get it home, you discover doesn't hold the charge long enough to actually get any jobs done. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I start buying my own tools. I only buy tools I believe are going to be good. I don't buy the most expensive thing. Don't get me wrong. Although, uh, this is really a huge sidetrack from I bought a nice ladder. Uh... Uh, when I went to buy a jigsaw, uh, which is, uh, whoop, uh, jigsaw is, uh, it's got one blade that's kind of like your finger sticking out from it, and you use it to do, like, really fancy edges on things, um, or you use it to cut, like, really things that you need a lot of movement in, so circles and and stuff like that, uh, right? Use a, use a circular saw, which has got a big circle blade on it. Well, it's not very necessarily big. I think my circular saw has got like a 7-inch blade on it. Um, 
but use those to do straight lines. And a jigsaw is used to do everything that's not a straight line, basically. And uh, I could not believe it. We used one my whole life. We used jigsaws uh, when working on stuff. Like, <laughs> like we used jigsaws when we did drywall instead of cutting it by hand. We'd use a jigsaw. Um, and we did a lot of drywall. I don't know where that guy's going, but I thought he was headed toward me, and then he's just running away. Hey! He's still running away. He wants those... Oh, now he came back to set me on fire. Thanks a lot, guy. I needed that. I needed to be on fire. Yeah, dope. Um, but, uh... So... I live in a small, small area. And uh, I think the nearest town is, uh, well, I kind of live in between two towns. And the uh, nearest big town, and I use quote marks on that, has like 10,000 people in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's tiny. And so there's only so many stores you can go to uh, before you run out of stores to buy things at. So... Uh, usually I drive to a much larger town, but it's like a 45 minute drive to a town bigger than the 10,000 people one. And, uh, although 10,000 people sounds like a lot of people to me. I, I mean, I live out in the middle of nowhere. My nearest neighbor is probably a 10 minute walk. Alright, maybe not 10 minutes, 5 minute walk. Uh, everybody's got huge long driveways, so it's probably like a quarter of a mile or more. Uh, to my nearest neighbor, which is just crazy. Uh, and they just live across the road, but my driveway's long and their driveway's long, and, you know, it adds up pretty quickly. Anyways, um, so I need a jigsaw. I, I did a deck, and I thought I had a brilliant idea, and so instead of measuring and cutting boards before I put them down, Mm. I uh, I mean, I did measure. I just left lips off of them, and so it was all uneven. Because I was like, man, this is going to be ridiculous to measure all this out and cut these boards ahead of time and then try and make sure they all fit. And I'm like, you know what I can do is I can just uh, make sure they're all longer than the edge of the deck, and, uh, uh, and then I can cut them all at once after they're screwed down with a jigsaw. Because uh, the deck's got angles and stuff like that on it, and I just figured that would be easier. And it was. Um, the problem is, is that uh, we didn't own a jigsaw. We owned a jigsaw before we moved, but a lot of our tools disappeared while we were moving. Or, uh, as I grew to discover, a lot of our tools were trash. Uh, that's, that's really the big thing. Or, like, every time you go to use a tool... Um, someone lays claim to it, which was just ridiculous to me. Um, oh, hey, didn't we have a drill? Well, it's my drill. Okay, can I use it? Well, I don't know where it's at at the moment. Okay, did we have a jigsaw? I don't know what a jigsaw is. Yes, you do. Uh, you know, the saw, it's got a blade sticking out. I don't know what a jigsaw is. Uh, well, I'm going to have to go buy a jigsaw. And then we get to the store, and then they're like... Oh, yeah, you know, we already have a jigsaw, right? I'm like, I asked you. You acted like you didn't know what a jigsaw was. Well, I didn't, wasn't sure what you were talking about. Uh, <laughs> so then we go home, because I didn't need a jigsaw, it turns out. And, uh, yeah, we don't own a jigsaw. Or the one we have is broken. And um, I think I think the one we have was broken... Actually, I think we had two. One of them was rusted to the point where you couldn't... It didn't run. It just hummed. And you couldn't even get it to move with your hand. Because uh, the blade goes up and down on a jigsaw. And, uh, and then the other one, the cord was just completely trashed. Like, tore right out of the... Like, you'd have to open the plastic cover and rewire it from that point. Mm. I don't know why I came back out here to grab more blue. I could have just kept working on this stuff back at the place. Um, I guess I got sidetracked by my own story here. 
And uh, so, you know, I wound up going back to town. And uh, so there's two towns. One of them's got about six, four or 6,000 people in it. I forget how many live there. Probably like four. And uh, I actually live in that. I, I work in the other, the 4,000 town. They might not have 4,000 people. I don't know. It's not very big. It's got a hospital, uh, so it's at least big enough to have a hospital. And uh, so I go to the hardware store. There is one hardware store in in that town. One hardware store. I go to that hardware store. I'm like, I need a jigsaw. And they're like, hmm, we don't carry jigsaws. I'm like, really? I'm like, yep, we don't carry jigsaws. I'm like, you got a circular saw. Yep, you got a sawzaw. Yep. You don't carry a jigsaw. Nope. Okay. I'm just dumbfounded. How do you how do you have a circular saw and a sawzaw, which is sawzaw is basically a giant jigsaw. It's just too big to do what I wanted to do. Uh and uh so we leave there and I head back into or then I head to the other town. Now the other town's got a few options. So uh, the guy who said we he didn't know what a jigsaw was, and then said we had a jigsaw, and then I discovered those jigsaws are trash, um, was with me. And so he likes to stop at this little, tiny hardware store that's in the middle of town. And, uh, so we went there first. Uh, no, actually, I think I went to Walmart first. Did I go to Walmart first? That sounds dumb. Uh, no, I think I went to the, I think I went to the, the, I didn't want to go to Walmart because I wanted good tools. Like, not that Walmart's tools are terrible, just they're not, I, I don't want to buy a tool and then ruin it after a couple of jobs and have to get a new tool. So I was looking for something nice. And, uh, so we went to, we went to the hardware store. I don't even remember what the name of that place is. Um... But they didn't have any jigsaws. They had sawzaws. They had circular saws. They had miter saws, uh, as they informed me. Um, but I needed a jigsaw. And uh, they, they all had helpful advice. Well, couldn't you just measure and cut with a miter saw? Yeah, but I'm looking to make it really easy on myself. Yes, could I measure and cut everything before I put it down? Absolutely. Absolutely I could have. But you know how much time I save doing it after the fact? I am not sure how I wound up with seven pieces of wool left over when I was trying to make this all into carpet. Okay, and then this is wall, so your carpet, your carpet. Nice. That looks really nice. Alright, and then this has got to come out here because this is going to be... Something else. Not sure what yet. I think I'm going to do uh, some sandstone here as the first layer, and then we'll build up off of that. Um, I know I use sand, sandstone here in this floor, but I think maybe we'll even do some, some chiseled sandstone. Uh, I got to get rid of all this nether rack I'm carrying around. Nether rack. <laughs> Uh, isn't chiseled sandstone sandstone slabs on top of each other? Um, but so then we went from that place. Yes. All right. Let's see if this is what I want. This might not be what I want at all. I don't know. Oops. No, I think I like that. I think I like that. We'll run this out through here. Uh, and so we left there because they didn't have the saw I wanted. And of course they're, they're suggesting where to go. Uh, small town, they always tell you, oh, well, you know, you can always go over to, you know. And so we head out to, uh, there's a, there's a hardware store and a lumber yard right next to each other. So go to the lumber yard. They don't have a jigsaw. I'm like, really? <laughs> You're a fairly large company and you don't sell jigsaws? We had jigsaws, but we sold the last one, and I don't know when we'll be getting more in. <sighs> I didn't think they were that rare of a tool, uh, seeing as how I grew up with one. Um, so, alright. Now, 
The next layer up on this has got to be what? What do I want under, around, and above my window? Maybe I just go with uh, sandstone again here. Although, you know, that's just dumb. I should, uh, I should use slabs and save myself some some sandstone. Um, and so then, uh, so the lumberyard didn't have any. They could order me one. I'm like, I don't need it in five weeks. I need it now. And if, if I'm going to buy, if I'm going to have one shipped in, I can buy it online cheaper than you can get it for me. You're aware of that, right? I mean, I needed it now. That's why I've driven to the store. If I needed it tomorrow, I would order it online. Uh... I mean, that's all there really is to it. And so, nope, no jigsaw. So then I walk over to the hardware store. No jigsaw. Um, they have they have all these weird tools I've never even seen before, and no jigsaw. Uh, there's a lot of weird... I don't have any sandstone, apparently. I had those slabs, and I turned it all into chiseled. I've got to go get some sand. Um... Hello, beach. I think you're close enough that I won't be able to see you from the house. Uh, so, uh, well, I know like that island out there you can see from the the house, so I don't want to take that island out. But so they, uh, yeah, they didn't have a jigsaw either. And so then, um, th my options are getting limited here. So I go to Walmart. Walmart doesn't have one. Uh, sawzaw, circular saw, hacksaw, you know, um, uh, they had some weird, like, the, the lumber yard and the, the, uh, hardware next to it had some weird, like, I don't even know what they're called, but they're used for woodworking, I guess. Uh, and I wasn't doing woodworking, I wanted to cut some boards. Uh, I guess that's technically woodworking, but, <laughs> you know. Uh, get out of here. And, uh, so... I left there, and there's two... Two... Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of lumber yards. There's actually... Actually, I should have checked the other lumber yard, but I didn't think about it. Um, there's actually a lumber yard in the first town that I didn't go to to see if they had any. I don't think it was open. I think that's the problem. It wasn't open. Uh, they were... It was too late in the afternoon. Uh, you know, like four. <laughs> uh, no, I don't I don't remember why I didn't go to the other one. Uh, but I didn't go to the other lumber yard. And so in... Uh, in the town I was at... So lumber yard one, nothing. Hardware 2, nothing. Uh, actually, I've been Hardware 3, technically, but Hardware 2 in that town, uh, nothing. And so then, uh, I'll finish this story and then we'll finish the episode. And so uh, so then I went and um, checked Walmart. Walmart didn't have it. I went to Sears. Sears didn't have it. They could order it for me, but they didn't have any. Because our Sears is not a real Sears. Our Sears is a catalog store. Uh, which is, you know, awesome when you need something now. We can order it in. We can get it to you three weeks from next Tuesday. Uh, yeah, you know what? I can order it online and have it shipped faster than that. Actually, you can't with uh, appliances and stuff, which is weird to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... I drove all the way out of town, back toward my house. There's a lumber yard on the way out there. It's just uh, not as nice as the one I went to in the first place. Um, and they didn't have one. Uh, and I'm like, why does nobody have a jigsaw? 
And the guy's like, I don't know, that seems really weird to me. I'm like, I've been to like a dozen stores at this point, and nobody has a jigsaw. And they're like, have you tried the tractor supply place? And I'm like, no. He's like, I would try the tractor supply place. And uh, sure enough, the tractor supply supply place carried really, really expensive tools. Uh, and so I wound up getting a DeWalt jigsaw, which I've only used one time for that job. Um, and DeWalt is like really high end. Well, not really high end, I guess, but um, way more expensive than I was going for. I would have settled for a Walmart cheapy, uh, honestly, at the point I was at. Oh, it was driving me crazy. All right, well, I think this is where I'm going to call it for today. i got to figure out what I want to do here. I'm not... This isn't all going to be one giant window, so I don't know why I just laid this out like it was going to be one giant window. So I obviously have to figure out where the... Oh, dang it. Where the windows are going to go. And oh, I'm trapped in a hole of my own design. Um, and uh, so I can figure out exactly how this is going to lay out. Uh, but this is this is going to be the sitting room area. Uh, and actually, it's going to go down farther than this now that I think about it. Uh, but uh, I figure we get some plants in here and some windows and some chairs here and there, maybe some tables. Uh, looking out at the stables. Maybe we'll put a little fountain down there for them to look at or something. Oh, plus when they get out to this side, they'll be able to look out, you know, at the ocean. I'll cut down those trees that are blocking the view of the beach I just violated. Actually, I think that beach is over there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I didn't finally get the jigsaw. I just had to pay a lot more than I wanted to. Um, I was thinking, like, 60 bucks, and I think I wound up paying, like, 150 bucks. Um, but I got top-quality jigsaw, so... All right, click like if you like, subscribe, be sure and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later. <laughs>